that time. Yeah. Pleasant surprise around these parts for Moorhead State. They've had some injury issues there without their best player. They need some real scoring early on, Jimmy, from Davon Cooper, the 6'4", redshirt junior, who had to sit out last year because of injuries out of Louisville, Kentucky. And we are underway, immediately attacked by Claw. A, a double-double guy, most likely, is going to be an all-OBC player. A huge hit for the Eagles early. Kentucky working against the zone for the first time this season. It's going left, pull. Kentucky got lucky on that last possession. A bad breakdown in transition defense. Gave up a wide open corner three. Kentucky was 25 and 6 last year overall. Mentioned their SEC championship. And boy, did they have a difficult non conference schedule coming up. Step back jump shot. That's going to be well wide. That missed by Davon Cooper coming up. Step back jump shot. That's going to be well wide. That missed by Davon Cooper. They need him to make some shots. Kentucky looking to run. Fletcher again. You mentioned his ability to go north. And we need to mention that Kentucky, Moorhead, no one in college basketball this year has had an exhibition game, a private scrimmage, anything like that. This is first, not a jet. Got the corner turned. If you're Moorhead State out of the Ohio Valley Conference, you have to have a stud to come into Rupp Arena and win the ball game. And you look at those great teams out of the Ohio Valley over the last few years. Belmont had Dylan Windler, who's an All-American. Isaiah Cannon and John Moran at Murray State. The kid at Austin P this year, Terry Taylor. And them dudes can play with anybody. And I'm not sure that is before the end of the first half. Plenty of time left. Beautiful pass, but can't be finished down inside. You got to score that. Ask you at the other end through contact lays up and in. Nicely done by KJ Hunt, six foot three redshirt junior out of Little Rock, Arkansas. The zone for Moorhead State changed things a little bit. What's making Kentucky think on the offensive end? The ball's got to get below the free throw line extended. There it is for the first time. Something good will happen. Make the defense respond to it. Nice ball movement. That should go in. There Askew, we go. Barry. They usually have 20,500 in this uh, historic building and were allowed. Or Tennessee, like a Kansas, like a South Carolina. But do they have the players that are capable and yeah. willing of, to do that? I, I think we're th th they're going to have to grow into it because they're not naturally, overall, a real physical team. Yeah, if you look at Brandon Boston Jr., 6'7", 185, I think that's generous. Yeah, Clark's thin. Sar's not a, you know, a real monster down that low block. I mean, the things that he's done with uh, the uh, M M M John McClendon initiative here with helping minorities kind of jumpstart their career, he has... Kind of put his money where his belief is. He and his wife have just done fabulous things for this Lexington community and state overall throughout the years. They haven't had any exhibitions or any preseason no. either. Have the officials? They're getting their game legs as well. Sar, 18 footer on the way, nicely. But you can't make that high low pass against the length of Kentucky. At least it's very difficult to. Ask you hard off the back of the iron, not close, Moorhead State. You know, I like that Moorhead State has stayed with their game plan. They've stayed with what they wanted to do.